Hello and welcome to Nature Day's Outdoor Learning Resources, sponsored by the Gower Society. Now my challenge for you today is to investigate angles. Now if you've got a protractor, you can take one of those, but in fact what we're actually going to be looking for are three different angles. Your right angle, your acute angle and your obtuse angle. And the way you can use a part of your body to measure those is to look at your thumb and your finger. So here we have an approximate right angle. So all we need to do is to take this into the field and then we can see if it's less than that, if the angle is smaller, we have an acute angle, and if it's larger, we have an obtuse angle. And if it's the same, it's a right angle. If you look at the Nature Days blog, then you can download a table there and do an investigation to find out if there's more right angles in natural materials such as trees and bushes or whether there's more right angles in man-made things like buildings and structures. Or you could investigate something natural, for example a tree. So if we look at this tree you see we've got some nice acute angles here near the bottom of the trunk. And my inquiry question for you could be if you go up closer to the crown to the top what happens to those angles? Do they get more acute or do they get more like right angles? As you get further up the height of the tree, is there a pattern with the degree of the angles? Is there a greater proportion of acute angles or are they getting a bit bigger and towards the right angle? Now, how are you going to investigate this? How are you going to make sure it's a fair test are you going to measure every single angle in that tree? Is that possible? If not, you're going to have to think about sampling. And if you look at my sampling video, you can find out how to make sure that your sampling is going to be reliable and you don't get a relationship which isn't actually there. So when you've decided to sample your number of branches, you need to decide how far you're going to go up. Now, can you see right up to the very top? Are you going to be able to start at the very bottom? Make sure you've got a large number. The larger you have, the more accurate your calculation is going to be. So especially if you're calculating the mean average. But see if you can do some graphing. You could do a nice line graph that looks along the x-axis of distance up the tree. And along the y-axis, you could have the number of 45 degree angles, or even you can measure the angle in degrees itself. So if you've got a protractor, you could do that. If you haven't got a protractor, or if you're standing on the ground and the tree's up there, can you think of a way you might be able to measure the degrees of the angle without actually being able to go up there with your protractor? Is there anything we could use? Have a think. I would love to see your results and any graphs you create so that we can find out together if there is a relationship between the distance up the tree and the angle of the branches coming off the trunk. So please share them on Twitter, hashtag Nature Days, or at Dawn Nature Days, and I look forward to hearing about your angles.